What's going on, Animal Addicts? It's Animal Addiction here. And if you like the videos, or you enjoy the channel, or even one video, make sure you please, please, please subscribe. So basically today we're going to be making some nice little Snello. This is going to be enough to feed your snails for probably about a month or two. But basically first you're going to need Wardley Shrimp Pellets or any uh, fish flake. Um, I chose Wardley Shrimp Pellets because it has a lot of calcium. So you're going to want one tablespoon of the shrimp pellets. And then one tablespoon of the flakes. Or you could do two tablespoons of flakes. Doesn't really matter. Delicious flakes. Yummy. Just put it in that little bag right there. You can use a Ziploc bag, which is the better option, or you can use a bread bag like I did, or basically any bag that's airtight. Um, this bag wasn't airtight. It had some holes, but, uh, yeah, so you're going to want to put in, like, I put in two tablespoons of calcium powder, which is just ground up uh, cuddle bone. I used a coffee grinder to grind it down, and then I put it in a jar, so... You want to make sure there's no air pockets, and then you just want to crush it all up at once. That's where your fish are going to get the uh, notification. Next up, you want to use your green beans baby food. And this costs about, I think it was like a dollar each. It was really cheap. Not even a dollar, I don't think. I think it was like 86 cents. That's just nasty. But you're going to want to have two of them. And just empty them out into a microwavable safe bowl. Disgusting. Just gross. Got to empty all of it. Try to get as much out as you can. I would use a spoon to get the rest out so you don't waste any, but I didn't have time for that. So next you want to microwave it for 30 seconds. And I don't really show the microwave much. Now I was trying to look at my phone while I was recording and press start at the same time. Take it out after the 30 seconds and this is when you pour in the uh, well, this is when you stir it, and then after you put it in for another 30 seconds, that's when you pour in the jello mixture. Just let that cook for 30 more seconds, take it out, notice it's nice and uh, warm. Now you got your jello mixture, and you just want to pour that jello mixture into the bowl slowly you want to drizzle it in which is why i cut out the footage here because i couldn't do it with my phone in my hand and then have the spoon in the other hand so you just want to put a little bit in at a time sprinkle it in and stir at the same time uh it's a lot easier with two hands so i had to put it down after a second you know, just that much and then you want to stir it and this is nox brand jello well you should use nox brand jello that's probably the easiest one to get. I don't think this is not French. So then you want to put it in your, um, once you got it all dissolved in, you want to put in all your fish food and calcium powder and all that stuff that you have in the bag. So just pour it in and stir it in until it's nice and well stirred. It looks delicious. And it also smells like baby food. So, you know, uh, if you like that smell, which I don't, it's very gross. Just want to make sure you get it all out of the bowl. That's nasty. This was a lot of calcium, by the way, so a lot of people use two teaspoons, and the recipe that I found does use two teaspoons, but I don't, because the last time I used two teaspoons, it still wasn't enough, and the snail shells actually ended up deteriorating still, so I put in a lot more calcium this time. Yummy. Make 
make sure you get all of it out. And yes, I just woke up, so my voice is very uh, robotic. What am I not filming when I just woke up? Still just getting the rest into the Tupperware container. You can use a bigger or smaller piece, or smaller Tupperware than I have. I just found one that I could use. Now you want to put it in the fridge for a few hours until you get a solid jello. Don't mind the dirty fridge. And then after you have it in there for a few hours, put it in the freezer. So, that's basically all you gotta do. So guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and put turn on your notifications so you don't miss a single video. Bye guys.